In this first section, we'll examine fluency and how reading educators define fluency. Since fluency can also be used to discuss writing or speaking, let me be clear that in this course we're talking about reading fluency. The evidence base for reading instruction includes fluency as one of the essential components. You'll recall that the other components are alphabetics, vocabulary, and comprehension. So what exactly do we mean by reading fluency? Fluency in reading is the ability to read connected text accurately at an appropriate rate and with expression or prosody. Let's take a few minutes to look at this definition carefully. First of all, what do I mean by connected text? Connected text means text that is presented in phrases, sentences, or paragraphs, like you see on the left. It's distinguished from a, just a list of isolated words, like you see on the right. Now let's talk about accurate reading. Accurate reading means recognizing the words on the page with a minimal number of errors. Here is a sentence taken from a book on adult learning. Imagine only being able to recognize a small portion of the words, something like this. The X's here indicate where a reader just gives up and can't even imagine what that word might be. But some words are read incorrectly as well. It would be impossible to discern what the sentence is about if we were reading it like this. And we would undoubtedly be frustrated. To state the obvious, we're more likely to make sense of a text if we can at least recognize all the words correctly. Fluent readers identify the words they encounter in connected text with a high degree of accuracy. Now let's move on to rate. Rate refers to how quickly a reader reads the text. Fluent readers can identify words immediately, seemingly instantaneously. In the reading world, we call this automaticity. A reader who reads with automaticity can read the words on the page without a conscious awareness of applying any skills. Being able to recognize words with automaticity means that cognitive resources can then be freed up to concentrate on the meaning of the text. If words and the common sound symbol relationships are not learned to the level of automaticity, the reader will need to use strategies to decode the word, which will slow down the reading and distract from comprehension. However, if the words can be recognized quickly, cognitive effort can be focused on connecting the words to larger units of meaning, like phrases or sentences or paragraphs. We use the term appropriate rate in the definition because it's possible to read something too quickly as well as too slowly. Someone who reads connected text like it's a race likely isn't paying attention to the meaning. Appropriate rate refers to reading the text smoothly, like you were saying it to someone else instead of reading it. Reading as if the text is actually being spoken brings up a key word in the definition, prosody. Whereas accuracy refers to recognizing the words without errors, and rate refers to recognizing them rather quickly, prosody is sometimes defined as reading with expression. What we mean by reading with expression is that readers read words in the connected text with appropriate intonation, stress, and rhythm. Intonation refers to the variation in our pitch, like how a, a question sounds different than a statement. Stress refers to the emphasis placed on a syllable or a word in a sentence. And rhythm refers to how words are grouped into phrases across the length of a sentence. These are the things that make the words on the page actually sound like they are being spoken. You might just think of reading with prosody as the opposite of word-by-word -word reading, in which there is a noticeable separation between words, like you might think a robot would read. Here's an example. If I read each word in this sentence as if it had no connection to the other words, I would sound like a robot. The, man, in, the, long, coat, looked, mean, 
that kind of reading just doesn't convey a sense of the meaning at all. However, listen as I read it with prosody. The man in the long coat looked mean. This sounds more like how I would convey this idea in speech. I have broken up the sentence into phrases, which gives the reading some rhythm, and the pitch of my voice conveys a statement, not a question or an exclamation. Prosody is important for two reasons. One reason is that reading with prosody shows that the reader is actually understanding, at least on a superficial level, the meaning of the text. Someone who doesn't know how the words go together to make meaning won't be able to read with the appropriate intonation, stress, or rhythm. So prosody is a window into comprehension. However, reading with prosody works the other way as well. It also helps a reader comprehend the text more fully. It supports understanding. Skilled readers use punctuation, phrasing, and other features of text to guide the meaning they are making from the text. Think about what you do when confronted with a long, complex sentence. If you're like me, you sometimes read or reread that sentence carefully, intentionally breaking up the long stream of words into chunks of meaning. For instance, look at this paragraph from a textbook on adult learning. Read it to yourself and note how you use phrasing and intonation to guide your reading. I'll pause for a minute and let you read. Like me, you probably had to chunk the text and stop periodically to put those chunks together to make sense of this rather complex text. But even when the text is not overly complex, skilled readers automatically use phrasing and emphasis on certain words to help them follow the train of ideas unfolding through the text. Being able to read like this with prosody plays an increasing role in comprehension as readers develop as readers. Beginning adult readers then, and we're talking about those reading between grade level equivalent 0 to 3.9, need opportunities to develop their fluency. As you learned in the assessment course, the diagnostic assessment you give students upon entry into your class should help you tease out your instructional goals for your beginning level students. However, instructional goals for most students at the beginning level will involve the following. Recognizing an increasing number of words with accuracy and automaticity, attending to capitalization, end punctuation, and commas as cues to meaning, reading connected text and short phrases, and reading phrases, sentences, and paragraphs with appropriate expression, or as we discussed, prosody. The rest of this course provides instructional approaches to achieve these goals.